Hi everyone. I hope you guys are doing great. For those who don't know me, my name is Rishab and uh, I am currently working as a software engineer at Google India. और इस वीडियो में हम लोग बात करने वाले गूगल के इंटरव्यू प्रोसेस के बारे में लाइक like, क्या क्या राउंड्स रहते हैं टाइमलाइंस क्या होता है व्हाट आर द एक्सपेक्टेशंस राइट वन थिंग दैट आई हैव नॉट कवर्ड इन दिस वीडियो इज द प्रिपरेशन स्ट्रेटजी फॉर द इंटरव्यू सो इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन नोइंग द प्रिपरेशन स्ट्रेटेजी देन डू लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर एड यू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so in this case i was a bit lucky i feel because one of the google recruiters actually contacted me and uh, asked me like whether i want to appear for the interview or not so the opportunity came for me from uh, their side but if this is not the case for you then there are two ways in which you can land an interview opportunity at google number one is getting an employee referral like you can ask a google employee to refer you uh number 2 is you can contact a google hr and ask them if there are uh, job openings uh, which are relevant to your profile the phone screen is basically a screening sort of interview jisme aapko basically judge kiya jata hai ki whether you are eligible to appear for the main interviews or not as i told you earlier the opportunity came all of a sudden so i was not really mentally prepared to appear for a company like google in fact this was the first time i was about to appear for any google interview so obviously i was pretty nervous and uh, clueless about how much preparation is enough preparation so what i did i actually asked the recruiter to give me 2 to 2 and a half weeks of uh, preparation time for this So the phone screen round was a bit easier compared to the on-site round. Easier in the sense the questions were not easy, but the expectation level is a little bit lesser than the on-site round. So if you struggle a bit in any question, let's say, then uh, there are chances that uh, you know you still get through the phone screen round, right? So the expectation bar is not high in this round, which is a good thing as it's a screening round, right? and the format of the rounds are pretty much similar like the it's same with the on site rounds only like you will be given 45 minutes for us 45 minutes mein aapko do medium difficulty level ka question ya fir ek hard difficulty level ka question pucha jayega and the basic expectation from you is that you will be able to solve all the questions within the given time and tell the correct time complexity apart from that uh, there are some other things on which uh, they actually evaluate you uh those are number one your algorithmic capability like how well you are using algorithms to optimize your solution and stuff so this is number one the second thing is how modular your code is like how well structured your code is and how you are dividing your code into functions and all uh so those sort of things right the third thing is your knowledge over the language you are using for coding for example i was using c++ and uh, at some point i actually used the stl sort function we have the stl sort function right so i used that function and uh, i actually explained the interviewer that what sorting algorithm that function is using internally and what is the time complexity of that so that actually shows that i am aware of uh, the internal facts of the things that i am using like many people use stl but they are not aware of the internal algorithms or implementation that are there in stl right so this kind of thing actually shows that you have uh, you know expertise over the language you are using here so that is one parameter of evaluation another parameter in which they actually judge you is the communication skill that you have like whatever solution you are uh, implementing whether you are able to present that solution properly to the interviewer or not so this is a very uh, good thing for any interview not only google like uh, it is very important uh, to present your solution properly to the interviewer so that your interviewer understand like exactly what you are doing or how you are thinking after the phone screen round uh, if you perform well then you will be proceeded to the on site round for me in the on site rounds i had like three tech interviews and one googliness interview 
So I will come to the Googleiness part later, but before that, I am coming to the tech interviews. Before appearing for the on-site tech interviews, I was not really uh, confident enough. So I asked for uh, some time to prepare for the on-site rounds. I nearly asked for three weeks for uh, you know for the preparation part. On-site rounds, I will tell you like uh, the pattern is same: 45 minutes to medium or one hard question. So in my first two on-site round, uh, it was kind of similar. Like the, I cannot tell you the exact question here, but I can tell you like how it happened. Like the first question was a bit easier on the easier side. Like not very easy, but it's an implementation uh, sort of uh, you know question. And the next question he asked was basically an extension of the first question. So I want to point out a very important uh, thing over here is that. Many times, what happens during the interview, we basically think about just solving the question, uh, you know, optimally and just code it. Here, the main uh, thing with this sort of question, like one easy question and then extension of that, is that they want to check if you are writing modular code or not. What happens in this case? Like, if you are writing modular code, then it will be easier for you to extend that particular piece of code to uh, incorporate the second part of the question, right? But if you are not writing modular code, then you have to make a lot of changes to incorporate the second part, right? And that is one parameter of judgment. Like, they will see how much changes you are actually making to your first code to incorporate the second part. So my suggestion will be, even if you are asked an easy question or like moderately easy question, you should be focusing on structuring your code, like writing modular code, because the second part may be an extension of the first question and you will get stuck in that process. The first two on-site rounds were like that, like one easy question and then extension of the, that particular question. For the third round, like it was uh, a bit different because in that round, I was asked like one hard question. So initially I was not able to understand like what that question is. So we spent around five to 10 minutes at the beginning out of that 45 minutes to just to understand the question. So in my case, the solution was not very trivial. So I started with a brute force approach and then, you know, uh, gradually I tried to optimize each and every part of that solution. And in the process, I was thinking out loud and that actually helps a lot. Like when I was telling like, okay, I'm thinking in this direction and I'm thinking to implement this thing and that thing, then what happens? Like if I'm going into the wrong direction, the interviewer will ask me question like why you were thinking in that direction? Why not this and all this, all this sort of thing. And what it actually does is like it saves you a lot of time. So if you uh, get to understand like you are going in the wrong direction at the beginning of it, then you won't be going in that direction, right? So you are saving a lot ton of time. So I feel that's a good uh, takeaway from this video. Probably like you should be thinking out loud in any interview, not only Google, right? So for me, it happened like that. And ultimately I came to an optimal solution and the interviewer was uh, very happy with that. One thing I want to mention here is that on-site rounds are not elimination rounds. So elimination rounds mein kya hota hai na ki aap ek interview round dete ho aur uske baad if your performance is not good then aap wahi se rejected ho jate ho. But here it's not the case. You will be able to give all the three rounds. Let's say first round mein aapka performance bahut hi kharaab raha. So you still have two rounds to make that up, right? So agar aapka do round achha gaya aur ek round kharaab gaya to there are still chances of getting selected. Coming to the Googleiness round, uh, so it's similar to like uh, any behavioral round, I will say, but the questions were a bit tricky. So one very important thing that I want to tell you here is that Google is very, very strict about its values. So if you perform well in the tech interviews, like tech onsite interviews, and if you perform very poorly in the Googleiness round, then there are no chances of getting selected. You will be straightly rejected, right? So do, you know, take this Googleiness round very seriously. So 
So once you are done with the Googliness round, the next step that comes in is basically team matching. So team matching is basically where you will be asked like your preferred uh, product areas like Google search, Google maps, like what is that product in which you want to work. So for me, it was Google maps. Like I really loved the product Google maps in general. So I opted for Google maps. I gave basically three uh, choices. The first choice was Google maps. Second was like Google search and the third was Google cloud. So inside the product area, Google maps, he will be searching for teams which has opening right now. And then he will try to set up uh, a discussion with the manager of that team. What happens in that discussion is that the team manager will tell me like what all work they are doing and what all problem they are solving and all sorts of things, all sorts of information about the team. So if I like the work of the team and uh, the manager also likes my profile, in that case, what will happen? It's a match. Like from both ends, we are saying that we want to work together. So that's called a team matching process here. So once you are done with the team matching process, the recruiter will create a packet for you. Packet is basically a group of documents consisting of your uh, resume, your interview feedback, your any kind of certification if you have. And another thing that comes in that packet is the internal references. Like if any of your friend or colleagues actually, colleague means past colleagues actually work for Google right now. So you can ask for their references, like they will give you a recommendation like, okay, I uh, have worked with this guy and I feel like this guy is good enough to work with Google. So that sort of recommendation you can get. With all these documents, the recruiter creates a packet and then the packet is sent to uh, the hiring committee. So hiring committee is basically a group of people who are unbiased, like uh, they have not interacted with you in any interview rounds or anywhere else, right? So there is no chance of being biased, right? So they look at your packet, they look at your interview uh, feedbacks and uh, other things also, and they try to decide whether you are a good fit for Google or not, right? There can be three outcomes uh, from the hiring committee. One is accept, direct accept. Number two is direct reject. And number three is in between. Like if in any case, like the hiring committee is not able to decide from your packet that whether they want to take you or not. In that case, what happens like next, you will be given one or two extra interviews and based on that, they will judge whether to take you or not. Okay. If I talk about the timeline, like how much time the hiring committee takes to return back with the decision or the wording, then I will say like for me, it took around three weeks. Once the hiring committee approved my packet, then uh, I got the final offer letter within two days. And uh, you know, uh, before that, obviously compensation related discussion happened. So this was the overall interview experience that I had. Do let me know in the comment section if this video was helpful to you in any way. And if you want me to make videos on any other topic, do let me know in the comment section. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.